Hi, my name is Lauren, and today I'm going to show you how to edit your people pages once they've been placed in your yearbook. Once you have your groups on your pages, you may notice that the text styles or fonts aren't what you want. You may also notice that some of the names have a red cast over them. This means that the name is too large to fit in the space provided. There's two ways you can fix this. You can either click on the name box itself and click and drag on the blue circle to make the box bigger. This will extend the name onto two lines. Or you can change the font size or style of everyone in this group, everyone on this page, or everyone in this book. To do that, you can click on the People Styles button seen here, and it will bring up this window to allow you to edit the names. So I'm just going to change the names to size 9, and everyone in this book, and hit Save. So now you'll see that it's updated all of my names and the other student whose name did not fit in the box is now fully fitting inside the box. Another way to edit your students while they're placed on the pages is you can click on a single student and hit edit person button seen here. This will allow you to edit the student's name, change the student's photo here, or change their grade or teacher group. You can also individually change their text style as well here, or you can change it for everybody on this page, everyone in this group, or everyone in this book. You can also delete this student, and this will remove the student from the people page data altogether and from your template that's currently on this page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this person just so you can see what that looks like. So you'll see now it has removed this student from my group and I do have an extra space available here in my template. Now you can move students between groups once they've already been placed on their pages. But keep in mind, if you do not have a space available in your template, the last person in your group will get pushed off. So to avoid this from happening, you're going to want to create an extra space on your template. So for example, if I move Kelly over here onto page 8, I'm going to need an extra space. And to do that, I'm going to click on a student. And then using the quick menu seen here, I'm going to click the Add Frame button. If I click Add Frame, you'll see it has captured a photo box on my cursor, and I'm going to click on the page. And now it's going to ask me to determine which photo space this student will be. So since there's 20 children in my group already, I'm going to make this the 21st spot. So I'm going to go down to Photo, and the profile position is 21. And then I'm going to scroll down and hit Update. And then I will close out of this window and I'm going to position my photo box so it matches up with the other ones. And now I'm going to go back to add frame again and click on the page to add a namespace for this person. So I'm going to go down to name in the drop down menu and profile position 21 and then I'm going to hit update and close out of that and I'm going to make this box a little bit smaller so it fits the size of a name box and I'm going to place it under my photo here and line it up with the space. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit save on my page and since I'm going to be moving my students around I'm going to start over. So I'm going to go up to people, clear left people to clear this group from the page. Now that my group has been cleared, I'm going to go and click on Kelly, the student that I need to move. I'm going to hit Edit Person. And I'm going to change her teacher from Cleary to Cesar, which is the group on my left here. And I'm going to hit Save People Data. So now you'll see she'll be removed from my group on the right. And I can go back up to People, Flow People. I'm going to go back to my Cesar group, and you'll see she's right here at the top, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit flow left. And now you'll see, since I added my extra box here, all of my students fit on my page. One tip to keep in mind, make sure you do not copy and paste your photo boxes, because this will copy the same student's numerical information, and it will not work 
to add an additional spot into your group. The only way that this will work is if you copy the frames seen here, paste them, and then click on the photo, right click, go to properties, and physically change your copied frame to the next profile position. Make sure to also do this with the name field. This way it gives the photo and name box a unique numerical order and does not copy the last student's numerical order, which will cause it to duplicate in the people page flow. One thing you can utilize when flowing your groups is custom fields. And I'll show you guys how that works if we go ahead and clear our page at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now I'm going to go up to people, make people pages. And I'm going to find a template that has some custom fields. So for example, let's just go with this one right here, 10 students, one custom field. I'm going to scroll down and build template on right. And then I'm going to hit continue to flow. And I'm going to pick my Cleary group, scroll down and hit flow right page. Now that all my students are loaded, you'll see there is an additional field here that is blank. To utilize this custom field, just click on one of your students, click edit person, and you'll see here is the option to insert some text into the custom fields. This template only has one space, but we do offer templates that have up to four custom field spaces. So for this example, I'm just going to write this student's future aspirations. And then if I hit save people data, you'll see now my custom field appears here on the left. And then I can also edit the font, color, and style of this field. If I change the drop down here to custom field one, I'm gonna go ahead and change the font to Arial bold, and I'm gonna make it a different color. Then I'm gonna save my text style and go back to my page. And you'll see now here, my custom field is present under my student. This is great if you have questions and answers for each student. And it also really helps you if you end up deleting or moving students around in your group because your custom field answers will stay with your students since they are part of your data now. Another thing you may want to do to save space when creating your yearbook is flow two student groups to a page. Now, normally you can only flow one group to a page, but we do have the option to flow two groups to a page if you utilize the layers panel. And I'll show you guys how to do that if I go to my page six and seven. So you'll see here I've created a smaller template that fits in the top half of my page. And I've created this template using the auto grid feature seen here. And I'll show you guys what that is. The auto grid is a feature that allows you to create your own custom photo grid already set up for people pages. So I picked five photos across, three photos down. And then I also gave myself a margin for the top so I could insert my header text right there. And I gave myself plenty of space in the bottom margin so I could copy paste this template and use it for an additional class. So now that I have this template here, it's on my content layer. So I do want to copy and paste this template and add it to my background layer so I can flow two groups to this page. To copy this whole template and paste it again, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click the multi-select tool. So this is the cursor with the plus sign. And then I'm going to click and drag over the whole template. So you'll see now it is selected all in red and I'm going to just right click, copy frames, click off the template and then right click paste frames. So you'll see it duplicates my template here for me and I'm just going to drag it all the way down. So it fits right here in the bottom half of my page and I'm just going to line it up perfectly here. And now before I click off of this template, I'm going to right click and click add to background. 
So now this template is on another layer than my template here. You'll see I can click on this template. I cannot click on this template. And this is just so the software can differentiate between the groups and it allows you to flow two different groups to a page at once. So I'm going to go up to people, flow people. And now I'm going to pick my smaller groups here. So I have my Fassenfeld group. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click flow right page. And it's going to ask me, which layer do I want to flow on? So uh, my content layer is the template on the top and my background layer is the template on the bottom. So I'm just going to click content. And you'll see my Fassenfeld group flows on the top here. And then I'm going to go back up to people flow. Then I'm going to click my Frank group right here. Scroll down to the bottom, flow right page. And then I'm going to click background layer. And you'll see now it flows my student group on the backgrounds layer. So this is a great way to save space in your book and also if you have smaller class groups to kind of nestle them together so you don't use as many pages. If you do need to edit this group, you can double click and then click here to go into background layer and you'll see now I have access to click on these students and move them around if I need to. Then I can go back up here, click here to exit to go back to my content layer. If you need any help editing your people pages or flowing two groups to a page, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at Tech Support. Check out our other help videos and thanks for watching!